Looks like Kara and Alice made it safely through the night. Ralph didn't freak out on us. That's good. Watch over Alice. Revive fire. Some other things to do as well. Detroit today. Cyber Wildlife First Android Zoo opens. U.S. life expectancy now 91. 0.4% of world population holds 94% of global wealth. First Android Zoo opens. Cyber Life is set to open the first Android Zoo in Los Angeles, which will exhibit all exotic species to have uh, become extinct in the last 30 years. Loot turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and several species of tiger will be among the most high-profile attractions. CyberLife CSR spokeswoman Daniel Carnegie said the zoo caters to people of all ages and has a special mission to educate and inspire the younger generation about the importance of protecting our fragile environment. Though some environmentalists have claimed the zoo will diminish popular concern for the extinction of real animals, it's difficult not to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. The animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but CyberLife promises they will be more real than the real thing. Sure, no doubt an ideal weekend trip for the family. It'd be kind of cool, but it's also kind of weird. Because, you know, well, you know what would happen next, right? We'd definitely be making dinosaurs. Then they'd kill us all. Canada! Still Android Free Zone! Oh, okay, okay. I don't, I actually wouldn't, I don't think that would be something Canada would do. Canada, where the air is clean and the <laughs> and the welcome is always warm. Discover the landscape, discover the wild, discover Canada. It's a picture of Toronto there, the CN Tower. This is interesting to read about. Despite the United States voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet again pushed back its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. As a result, Androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. I'm wondering if this is supposed to be like, um, this is like a reference to slavery, but, uh, which is, it's a little bit heavy handed, but that's, that's okay. With androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the U.S. economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the argument for and against putting them on sale in Canada rages on, but for the time being, Canada remains an android free zone. All right. There's, it's, there's just some more references to um, slavery in the United States and the civil rights movement and so on and so forth. I'm, just, I'm assuming we're going to have more of that as the game goes forward. But one thing I'm glad about is that they aren't as heavy-handed as I thought they would be because there were some like pretty heavy-handed references earlier on. About the fire. I just want to take a look over here before we revive the fire. Is he still over here? Oh. Oh, we don't have an option. Okay. Is Ralph there, though? Can't really see. Wait till she wakes. And check on her. It's not here. One thing I, um, because I kind of watched back the last video a little bit, and uh, one of the androids mentioned Jericho to Marcus, and Marcus had a bit of a flashback to, I think, when we were finding paints, he saw like a, a sign for someplace. So I wonder if that's like the path to get to Jericho. And that android um, transferred some like information to him through touch. Urban farm area. The other thing I noticed is that um, it looked like the model for Ralph was the same as the um, waste disposal model that we talked to when we were trying to find a safe place to stay for the night. Wait, what was that? It's ahead of a deer. Little plant there. It's a 
dead bird? Okay. I'm not sure if I want to mess with his stuff. I'm not gonna mess with his money. I don't I don't want him to get pissed off at us. Seems like the kind of thing that would rile him up. Can't go with that door. Although we also do need money. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass on it for now. Maybe he'll just be willing to help us. It's a good idea. Do we have something we can use to cut our hair with? If we go upstairs. raining outside still. Okay, where's Ralph? A lot more action in the streets now that it's daytime. It's weird. Everything else is so broken down. That looks like totally intact. I don't see anything in there that we could use. in here. Oh, there we go. It's a good idea to change our appearance. Since we're on the run, right? Accessing AX400 options, select a new hair color. Blonde, white, black, finish. I feel like white's gonna draw too much attention. Hmm. We want something that's not gonna draw too much attention. Let's go with, uh, this is the toughest decision so far. <laughs> This decision. Uh, let's go black. Oh, we can. Okay, we can change. I want to see all of them. Blonde or white. It's pretty badass. I kind of like blonde. Remove. Yes. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, 
that freaks me out. Oh, that freaks me out so much. I hate that. <laughs> Cringing so hard. What's this? Oh shit! Uh, maybe Ralph, who those, those pincers, that wrench, whatever, whatever it is. Ugh. Maybe Ralph was lying about how he treated the humans that stopped by here. Although I don't blame him because if this guy attacked him, it's possibly just died here too. I don't, I don't know. But uh, let's get back to out. Uh oh. Of course, they're looking for us. All right. Oh, That's shit. That's over now. Ready to go. It's Connor and Hank. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you going to do with that? I have no idea. Still neutral with Hank. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. Well, we know where she went. <laughs> uh oh, oh. Okay. Ralph found this to feed the little girl. Okay. <laughs> it's good for her. She's freaking present. Out. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. Down. <laughs> Let's sit. We don't want to. <laughs> That's better. We don't want to piss them off. Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. It wouldn't be polite for her to refuse. Would it? Can you put the knife away, please? <laughs> oh. Great. You'll see. She's not. Succulent. She's not happy. Succulent. <laughs> Father, mother, little girl. Please, Cara. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? Um. She said she doesn't want to eat it. Well, maybe it's not good enough. Oh, that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> maybe she's used to better things. But Ralph did this for her, so she's going to eat. Oh my God, that was a bad idea. Should have lied. Go ahead, eat. Okay, he's coming down. Uh I saw the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. Uh let's ask Goat family. You said you wanted to be like Yes, 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 okay, okay. Maybe that'll diffuse it. Father, mother. I don't think we want to go down the corpse. Girl, remember? Uh, <laughs> path. Father would never threaten his little girl with a knife to make her eat. That was good. There we go. <sighs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble. That's why. He just wanted the little girl to eat. 
But Ralph is not bad. No, not bad. Okay, that's better. Then let us go. Anybody home? Oh, it's Connor. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Shoot. Oh, man, this is intense. Worlds are colliding. Investigate the trail. I don't even see the trail. Ralph gonna kill Connor? Please, though. Let's check to the side here. Oh. I just wanna check to the side. Can I go in through the back, maybe? It's worth checking. Can't go through the back door. Okay. Can I go up here? Nope. And I can't go up here. We have no option. We have to go in through the front door. Oh, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> this game is so stressful. Oh, it's just Ralph. Okay. Scan Android. I thought. Good night. Oh. It says scan Android, but I don't have the option to do it. Usually you'd have triangle. Okay. Well. Um let's reassure him. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. AX four hundred. Oh, because we're looking for Kara. She was an X400. I'm just trying to think about how I want to handle this. Do I just look around? Do I look around? Do I talk to him? There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's bud. Okay, good job, Ralph. Oh, there we go. Scan. Science of software instability. Probability of self-destruction moderate. All right. All right, Luckless. Model WR600. Oh, he's a gardener. Reported missing. Obviously, seriously damaged. Irreversible skin damage. Probable cause extreme heat. Find source of android stress. Let's just look around a bit. Oh. If we move around, you get stressed. Just calm down, buddy. Okay, okay, what do I do here? I 
I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. Can I just leave? I can't just leave. <laughs> I've got to find... I have to do my job. Okay. Well, I have no choice. Androids don't need heat. Perfect tool to cut a wire fence, right? Gotta remember I can change the camera angle. Androids don't need table set for three, of course. Okay, there's no one in here. The bed is uh, has been cleaned up. Can I go now? I just want to leave. I don't want to catch them. We can't. I've got to go upstairs. Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. Andrea's telling the truth. So what else can I do? I'd like to just leave. It's not letting me though. I guess I'm supposed to use this level of stress to find out where they're at. 80%. Did you find something? I'm fine if I don't no. find anything. Good. That's fine. No, it's not here. That's fine. Yeah, just like I said in the first place. Come on, let's get out of here. I wonder if there's like a, um, if there's a basement. Haha, -ha, perfect. I'm fine with that. Still don't know what that means. I'm still happy with the way that turned out because that could have gone way worse. Undiscovered in the squat. Perfect. Oh, wow. There's three possible starting... I guess it depends on where you hit, right? Um, you could have been in the hotel. You could have been in the car, maybe? That's interesting. 
46% started there. I think if we had taken the money, uh, I don't know. Now, now that I think about it, maybe we should have taken the money. But Carl, um, or sorry, Ralph might have confronted us about that. Most people went black. Agree to sit. Less popular choice. Roth apologizes. Okay, that's good. So could we could have uh, maybe found them. And then it would have resulted in a whole other thing. I'm actually fine with that result. No one, everyone got out alive. That's the most important thing right now. Let's continue. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years, Marcus is looking decidedly pissed off, rightfully so. Ferndale, that's what we saw. So it's a station. Looking for that graffiti. They missed it. Is there some change? Isn't that it right there? I see. So we're looking. We're following the uh, symbols. So what do we have here? It looks like a boxing glove and uh, like a lion. Different colors though. Tech Addict. CyberLife's fortune teller computer. CyberLife develops the world's most powerful quantum calculator. Android soldiers, perfect killing machines. Um, CyberLife has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer capable of exaflops. One billion billion operations per second. The equivalent of several human minds in a single machine. The computer was specifically designed to analyze vast data from various sources and generate predictions. Philip Seymour, CyberLife's director of uh, Futurology, is highly confident. We've been testing for a while and the results are gonna, going to wow people. The computer will be used to calculate the probability of mass extinction events, such as aggressive alien invasions or global climate disasters like meteors or superviruses. The computer can then help us to anticipate and prepare for such calamities, ensuring humanity is never caught off guard. Despite doomsday predictions from those fearful that AI is gaining too much influence already, many experts are hailing this as a quantum leap in applied artificial intelligence. Android astronauts to explore IO. NASA sends Android crew into space. NASA announced the launch of five Android crew to explore IO, one of Jupiter's satellites. The journey will last three years and is expected to teach us much about the formation of our solar system. Though not the first androids in space, this is the first all-machine crew, proving that androids are sufficiently reliable to be entrusted with the entire mission. Androids are an extraordinary asset for the conquest of space, said Michael Shelley, director of NASA. Cosmic radiation destroys human DNA. Humans suffer many effects from long-term space travel, while androids are immune to most of these issues. NASA confirmed uh, no return journey was planned and that the androids would work on IO for several months. 
for being destroyed by the extreme conditions of the planet. Once again, it's just androids being sent to their death. I don't know how you all are feeling, but I'm starting to very much sympathize with the androids. Android area. Human area. I can already see the next one in front of us there. Can't talk to anyone. Eh? Do you know where Jericho is? <laughs> Not very talkative. I think there's something else we could do here. Grandma says it leaves her with nothing to do, sweetie. But she's so cool. I know her. The kids love the androids. So the symbol was uh, here. Are we just looking for that symbol over and over again? Clue updated. So stars, looks like it's... Looks like it's higher up on a building. Uh, red, pink, yellow, and looks like blue up there. Probably not that way, right? Oh, I see it. Now, where's the second one? Oh, right here. Fence, there's some robots. Always looking for other things to do as well. Here's a fence and the robots. Okay. Three symbols this time. I think there's one there, but uh, hmm. it's kind of semi-hidden.
There we go. Oh, hello. Do we need to do the whole thing over again? I see there's a grate there. I'm not looking for much. It sounded like Connor. Okay, so the side of someone's face and a window. It's a grayish building. Okay, there it is. Oh, shoot. Doesn't look like we can do anything to help them out. Okay, we need three symbols this time. Find a way to reach the roof. Uh, down? Okay. Gonna get us high enough? Okay, <laughs> that answers that question. Okay, I finally found the third one. It's right here. It's, uh, <laughs> it kind of got me with that because I kept looking for these black symbols. Jumping down. Okay, here we go. Recon, oh, pre-construct. Use the right stick to select a silhouette. So we, do we have a couple of different routes we can take? That's one option, I guess. Okay, is that the safest one, though? Is that gonna break? I, I guess we don't have an option. Very cool. So maybe the other option, uh, this cement piece breaks and we're stuck down there. Find it, we have to find another way. down there's the sparkle city definitely things to find in this environment so I'm gonna take a look around
Okay, can't go that way. So the symbol's right here. It's the first one. It's one here. Oh, and then right at the bottom. Inside the building. Oops. Just trying to see if there's more than one place where we can start. I guess we can hit L2 to go back if we want to. doesn't look good to me. <laughs> that does not look good to me. Okay, no. Too unstable. Maybe over here? Is that the only option from here? There we go. Nope. Try a different path. Oh, okay. I see. I see how this works now. That is so cool. Okay, so where is the actual mark? Looking for like a yellow spray paint column broken wall. Looks like the broken wall is probably just ahead of us. There it is there. Oh man. A lot of dead androids around here. The lighting is so great. Oh, I see the symbol. It's right there. I have to get the right distance away. Oh, this is getting tough. it. I 
Jericho. We found the boat. This must be some kind of like Android hideout, I guess. I'm going to wrap up this episode here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now, and I love you all. <laughs>